Hey y'all, how are you guys doing? So this is going to be a realistic reset Sunday. Now on Sundays is when I typically like to get things prepared and ready for the upcoming week. That means planning up my calendars, looking over the schedules at my job, um, also planning out any type of YouTube content, and also making sure that my son is prepared for the upcoming week. Those of you who don't know, I live and well, we live in the DFW area. My husband is currently working in Houston, Texas. He will be there until June and he's been there since February. So everything is falling on me. I'm very, very busy. So I like to try to plan as much as possible. So I'm going to take you all alone. Um, I've been up since 5 a.m. not doing anything. I really was relaxing in the bed, but now it's 8 and I need to go ahead and start to prepare. So a lot of this you're going to see, I'm going to be doing some voiceover. So come on, y'all. How are you guys? So here I am cleaning up a little bit because I do work from home and I am home most of the time. It rarely gets very, very messy there, but there are some things that I like to do specifically on the weekend. Um, that is to do my floors, do a little bit more deep cleaning, but here I am just straightening up the, this is supposed to be our informal diamond room, but it is so small and our section was so big that this is just an area where we have extra stuff. Uh, cleaning up the kitchen a little bit. Now look, this house this is the first time I've ever had a gas stove in a house. I absolutely love cooking on gas stove, but it is absolutely tedious to keep clean. I make sure that I try to clean it up directly when I'm done cleaning, excuse me, when I'm done cooking, but sometimes that doesn't happen. So I'm going to end up cleaning the stove this morning, putting away some dishes. And so, yeah, like I stated, I just tried to clean as I go, but it got a little bit messier this previous week. Yes, yeah, sorry girl. I was in mommy mode. I had asked him several times to get up and let's go clean the room. Now he does keep his room clean on a weekly basis, but I like to go in there with him at least once a month, if not every two months, and we do a thorough, thorough cleaning of his room. I would say every three to four months, I go in there and completely declutter stuff that I know he's not playing with. Look, all these little raggedy uh, Legos. I know he's not playing with these stuff, this stuff. I know he's not, and he's not going to miss it when it's gone. And so now he's vacuuming, and he's actually going to use the suction port on the vacuum to dust his Lego section. Lauren, you're done with your room. Okay. Oh, do you want to do the suction thing? No. Now? Okay. Let me get this other thing and see if it'll fit. So now it's laundry time and with my little family, this is three loads of laundry. This is not bad in my opinion for, I say this is almost two weeks of laundry and baby, I'm tired. I've been up since 5 a.m. Granted, I've only been doing this for about two hours. One of the things I like to do is the day before I like to look at the weather to pick out my son's uniforms, but baby, the weather here in Texas has been all over the place. It's going to be raining. I'm a little warm, so I'm going to have to dress him accordingly. Siri.
what will the weather be like in Forney, Texas next week? Looks good in Forney, Texas right now, but it might not last long. Girl. following week one of the things i like to, one thing i like to do excuse me is right before we leave or 15 minutes before we leave i spray down his pants you see they're a little wrinkle i spray down his pants with some what do you call it girl what do you call it? i can't think of it y'all put it in the comments those are his clothes for the week all right, you guys, so now it's time for my weekly planning. This not only includes YouTube content, but also just my monthly planning and work-related and family-related. I have a lot going on this upcoming week, doctor's appointments. Um, so what I like to do with that lavender sheet, that's a half sheet. I use the classic Happy Planner, and I go ahead and I write down my to-do list for at least the month. This particular list is for two months, and then I try to um accomplish one of those items on the to-do list for that week that also includes items on my goals i'm very goal oriented but i spread out my goals for the years i can't i no longer i can but i no longer do focus on yearly goals my goals are for three to five years baby so yes so that's what i'm doing right now and i'll show you what it looks like once it's completed I will say I'm giving myself some mercy here because I've been so busy over the course of the past year or so. So I'm trying to be, you know, a little bit uh, graceful here. So this is what my weekly planner looks like. And that's a half sheet again. So in addition to my normal Sunday routine, I'm also recording content for my channel. So here I am just using some products and I'm going to be editing. You're not going to see this, but I'm also editing a couple of videos and loading up a couple of videos uh, this particular Sunday. I typically like to do this stuff on the weekday when my child is at school. Hey guys, so this is some of my meal prep. I went ahead and diced up all of this broccoli, rinsed it out, and it's ready to go. And then I have some bell peppers to go in my rice, and I have some chicken here. This is going to be curry chicken. So I'm going to be making curry chicken strips with a little bit of bell peppers, and the so half of the bell peppers are going to go in some rice we're going to make tomorrow. And this is going to be enough food for me to carry me for three to four days for the week, okay? And I have I'm gonna be making crunchy chicken tacos for today and a little bit for tomorrow. All right, you guys, so that is it for my Sunday reset. It is now the night time and it's time to go to bed. JB's asleep. And that is it, you guys. Some things may change once my husband comes back in town, meaning that I will probably meal prep a lot more. This is just something I've been trying by myself to see how I like it, and I love it. So it's definitely something I will continue when he comes back. But this is it. This is how I stay on track, and this is how I keep my household running as smoothly as possible. Now, there are some things that I didn't get a chance to do, like the floors. I was too tired, child. So I would definitely do the floors in the middle of the week. So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.